Hey guys, so uh, welcome. I actually made another video today. I'm not feeling very good, so my voice is just really nasally, and I'm sorry. Um, if you're wondering what the music is, uh, it's the soundtrack to La La Land. So yeah, I watched it last night. My fiance and I are kind of obsessed with it. Um, yeah, we saw it in theaters, and then we were like taking dance class for our wedding at the same time we saw it in theaters, and we were like. Oh my gosh, this is so good. And he hates musicals, like, so much. Like, he'll never watch them. And so I was like, oh, he's not going to like this. But I'm going to drag him to it anyway, obviously. So, yeah, we went. It was great. I loved it. And I'm, like, totally obsessed with the soundtrack. Both of us are. So I bought it on vinyl because, like, I really love it. Um, so today, I was going to do a video with Reed, my fiancé. But he has to work. So... Yeah, we're not doing a video today. We will do one though. I'm going to try and get one during the week sometime um, that we can do together. But I thought I'd do like kind of a wedding planning type video. Oh yeah, I got my hair done. I know you guys are probably, I'm sure you noticed. <laughs> it's way different. So yeah, this is my hair. Sorry, ADD. Okay, so wedding planning. <laughs> um, so I don't really know, I don't want to give away too much because a lot of my friends and family watch this and I don't really want to give away a lot about our wedding. Um, but I'll tell you a few things that I think would be like key things to do or get. Um, so obviously a dress if you're a bride. Uh, obviously for my girls watching, uh, your dress is important. Um, that was one of the first things I actually did off my like whole wedding checklist was get my dress. It's actually the first dress I tried on and I wish I could show you guys so bad. <laughs> you guys will see it in like nine months um so um that was the first thing i got checked off my list was i bought my dress it's really beautiful it's just what you would think i would have for those of you who don't know me yet very well it's extremely princessy and like very disney beautiful like i don't know i don't want to give too much away because reed probably is going to watch this so um yeah it's just very beautiful and like crazy and i don't know I love it. It's awesome. So yeah, first thing I did was got my dress. I haven't gotten shoes yet, which is like weighing so heavy on my mind. You have no idea. The shoes I want are from Italy and I can't get them here. I don't know why. It's like impossible. So I'm really disappointed. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm still going to keep trying. Um, but yeah, so um, I made this. Let's see, maybe I'll back up. So this is like my wedding box. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a lot on the front yet. I kind of want to do more pictures of us, like, from Disneyland. And, like, I'd like to obviously put, like, a wedding photo on there when we get married. But, um, there's not much I have to show in here. Like, I don't know. We have our millions of cards from, um, that we got from our engagement party, which is exciting. <coughs> Sorry. I'm coughing. Um... A little guest book that we, my mom, or maybe my mom and dad, that's my mom's writing, I'm pretty sure she was all on that. Um, my mom got us a little guest book for the engagement party. Um, I don't know, we're getting married at Edward's Mansion. This is the, the funniest brochure I've ever received in my whole life. It's straight out of like the early 90s. Like look at, I don't know if it'll focus, but no, this camera never focuses. I think we've just learned, I need a new camera. Um, so yeah, it's like the most bad quality early 90s pamphlet, but for some reason we just loved it and we still booked, um, we still booked with them. So yeah, I don't know, there's a bunch of, like, this thing is full. It's even got, like, the ribbon from the Tiffany box from when he proposed and stuff. Like, it's just kind of all the mementos and keepsakes. Um, it'll be really full by the time this whole ordeal is done. Um, so the second thing we got was we figured out our venue. I think that was the second thing we checked off our list. That was a really hard thing, actually, because we are not getting married where we live. We are getting married in California, which is not even close to where we live. Um, we've been there a lot, but we don't know. Like, until you get married, you don't know about wedding, unless you've been to a lot of weddings. I have not. I've been to, like, two. Um, my mom was in a backyard. No, nope, I think both were in a backyard. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I haven't really been to a lot of weddings. So I wasn't really sure um, where to book for in California for a wedding. So we ended up finding Edwards Mansion. Um, I'll let you know, guys know I'll do a review on them after um, to let you know if 
how it was, but it looks beautiful. We haven't been there yet. We're going, um, we're going to try and go in October and see our venue, but I don't know if we'll be able to afford it with the wedding. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going to try and get there and, um, yeah, so it looks beautiful. It's pink and blue. <laughs> the whole like mansion is pink, baby pink and baby blue. So like based on that alone, I was like, Reed, what do you think? Like, yes, right? <laughs> um, and he actually really liked it. So he was in. Um, yeah, what else? Um, invitations was the worst part. Like, there's been a lot of drama with our wedding. I'll tell you that. I think that's like every wedding. Every big wedding, I think, comes with a lot of drama. And it's one thing I didn't really expect, but I can handle, I guess, is the best way to put that. Um, so, first, like, issue was with our invitations. Um, we hired, see, I wish I had hired somebody in my hometown. And I think that's one thing I would recommend is hire somebody that you can speak to in person. Because I hired somebody that I had found on uh, the Knot actually on their website. They recommended her. She had won an award. So I went to her Instagram and I loved her invitation. So I was like, absolutely. She's from Houston, uh, which if you know Houston, Texas and Calgary, Alberta are very far. Lots, very much the same, but very far away. Um, so I obviously wasn't going to go to Houston or anything and meet up with her. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, so... Yeah, she seemed really nice at first and offered us a really good deal, 525 American for our invitations and we need a hundred, so that was a decent deal. We wanted really detailed, like we've got, I wish I could show you, but I can't, obviously, because I don't want to like have random people show up at my wedding, but maybe after the wedding I can show you. Um, so, uh, yeah, the invitations were supposed to be 525 originally and it ended up costing us over a thousand dollars. Um, she just kept adding on little expenses and she actually broke up our payments into three separate so just when I thought I had already paid her it was like oh and now here's your third installment and your fourth and I was just like it was so weird because she had never mentioned that she was going to do it like that anyway I wrote a horrible review I'm not even going to mention her name because I don't even want people I don't want to draw attention to her because she was so rude and the service was so bad and our invitations yeah they're beautiful absolutely I will admit they're dropped it gorgeous I've had tons of compliments on them which I'm super happy about because that's what I wanted was beautiful invitations but the price was just like a lot like I don't know maybe I'm crazy but I think like over a thousand dollars for pieces of paper is ludicrous so let me know in the comments if you think I'm just crazy um so yeah the second issue I had was with bridesmaids <laughs> and I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings but I did have a bridesmaid drop out and that was horrible because it was one of my best friends from like my childhood and my only best friend left over from my childhood and it actually ended our friendship um which sucked because I was so excited and she's not even coming to the wedding anymore or anything and it was all because I had planned my bachelorette I planned it for New Orleans at the time I was talking about New York and all my bachelorette or all my bridesmaids sorry said they couldn't come because of money they said they couldn't afford it and I was so devastated because I've always like always my whole life wanted to go away for a bachelorette party because I don't like the places that you can go out in my city and so um, obviously I was upset I think that's perfectly normal and because I was upset she was like well if you're gonna be upset about this I don't want to have anything to do with your wedding and she was I don't know maybe she was going through a hard time no idea but it sucked because A, I lost a bridesmaid and had to find somebody else. Um, and B, um, I lost a best friend. So I ended up having uh, my one of my best friends from high school. She's still my be one of my best friends, um, uh, Angel. And I'll link you to her YouTube actually in the bottom just because I'm talking about her. <laughs> um, and yes, hi Angel. I know you're probably watching this. So um, yeah, she actually stepped up and was like, I already went through your Pinterest board and I'm so ready and so on board for this. And I was just so grateful because I was really worried because Reed had already told all his guys and I didn't, I know it sounds stupid, but I didn't want an uneven number and I didn't want like to have less help. And I just was like, I want to have people standing up with me. And I was actually originally gonna ask Angel, but I had asked this other person and said, because I had known her longer and kind of felt like I had like, to pick her over Angel just because 
time and it was just so sweet of Angel to be like yeah I'll do it like I didn't expect her to say yes I just thought I'd ask and she was like so on board and she's been such a big help so yeah thanks Angel um so yeah uh that was the other kind of drama -y thing that really sucked and then the third one is our wedding planner quit on us because of me so I don't know maybe I'm just like an awful person and that's why all these people keep like leaving or like overcharging us or whatever um, but yeah, she didn't find us a venue like she said she would and she couldn't get us deals on flights and hotels like she said she would um, She didn't have a venue picked. She couldn't pick a venue like we she kept sending us weird things that we like Specifically said we didn't want like we said no hotels and she kept sending us hotels and like we said outdoor and she kept sending us indoor and All this stuff. So that was annoying um, and then she didn't get us deals on flights, nothing like she said she would. She made all these promises and we'd paid her so much money. And then, yeah, it didn't end up, she didn't end up doing anything at all, pretty much. So, uh, I was like, either you A, do your job, or B, uh, don't, um, or just don't, uh, work with us anymore and give us our money back. And that was with escapes. She was with escapes. So, I don't, I would not recommend them. I mean, it's your wedding. But if you're having a destination wedding, at least for a California one, I would say don't go with her. Um, so yeah, she ended up saying, nope, I refuse to work with you anymore and I can't give you a refund. And I was like, well, either you give us the refund or you keep working with us and find us the deal we need. And she was like, fine. I called her manager and she was like, and then I got an email back after being like, fine, here's your money. And she had actually sent me a check in the mail. And so that was good because that saved us 500 bucks, like a thousand long run, but the deposit we gave her was only 500. Um, so yeah, um, that was the other kind of drama with it. So those are things to look out for. I think those are probably common things that, um, yeah, like I really wanted a wedding planner and I was pretty upset that we ended up not having one, but I don't know, I would say it's worth not having one. Um, so other things I would recommend is obviously florist, find a good florist, photographer, find a good photographer, and we are really lucky. We've found so far on, just through Instagram, I found pretty much all the people we need, um, or through our venue, like the florist it was recommended to us by our venue, and she's amazing. Um, and our photographer, I mean, we haven't worked with her yet, but her pictures are amazing on our Instagram. So I'm excited to see, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm excited to see what our wedding photos look like. Um, yeah, uh, the other thing I would recommend is kind of a quirky, weird one, but dance lessons. I don't know, I mean, maybe some of you guys are great dancers, but I'm a horrible dancer. So for Reed and I, I was like, we have to have dance lessons so we can have a good first dance. And like, we have learned so much, like just, we'll be able to dance like the whole night and anywhere else, right, in life that there comes a time where we can dance, right? Which doesn't happen much in this day and age, but it's good to know. So, like, sh we had private dance classes, and it was amazing. It was so much fun. It was a great date night. wasn't too expensive. I think that was probably one of the best things we've done. Um, yeah, I don't know. Those are obviously rings. Like, you kind of need those for the wedding. I mean, maybe some people don't have them, I guess. So, maybe you don't, but we're going to have them. Um, but, yeah, those are some of the things I think I would recommend, like, do's and do nots um yeah I would say don't hire a wedding planner unless you've interviewed with them previously like do everything in person that you can and that's one thing I was trying to cut time and like save myself time because I'm so busy working and stuff um <coughs> sorry um so I was trying to cut off on time by doing things where I can go over correspondence over just email and I would say don't do that <laughs> that was a mistake I would say do everything you can in person because it's everything's much more clear face to face um yeah so I guess I'll wrap this up so I'm gonna try and get a video done with Reed at some point this week and hopefully yeah that'll be fun and hopefully you guys like that and sorry this video isn't the most exciting video but um yeah I just didn't have I just didn't have time to or wasn't able to do a video with Reed this week so um yeah hopefully we can get one done for you guys next week we're gonna start working out next week so I will do some videos about how that's going because I haven't worked out in like six months so 
she'll be interesting. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I super, super appreciate the views, and I hope you guys like this stuff. And if you have any requests for videos, just comment it below. Anything, any comments, good or bad, I'd love it. And please hit the subscribe button, and please give this video a like. Thank you. Bye.